and we're back. We're fighting at Shadow Yosuke, and yeah. I'll crush everything that bores me. Starting with you. What am I so? How long can you survive this? This one's much stronger than the last type. Be careful! Whenever you feel threatened, just defend yourself! Yikes! This is one tough enemy! So he just charged up. Yeah, that's that. I don't have anyone else I can choose. Okay, so... Yeah, that's what I figured out. Because it does seem to have a very set rotation. I like the way it gets up. A lot more tactical than it was before, which is awesome. Goodbye, Shadow Yosuke. You are a fun fight. Wow. Oh, Jilly didn't move at all. Rakunda. I, I, Yosuke, are you okay? Yeah. You're still here? You're not me. That thing came from you, Yosuke. You have to admit it, or it'll go berserk again. I'll put it down again. Myself. 
hurts to face yourself. It does. I knew it wasn't lying. I was so ashamed that I didn't want to admit it. You're me. And I'm you. When you get down to it, all of this is me. Oh, it sounds like that art I and I am thou. Is that his persona? Jiraiya? Isn't that from Naruto? This is my persona. When we heard Senpai's voice, I wonder if that was something Senpai had been keeping deep down inside. <laughs> he was a real pain in the ass, huh? What a way to find out. Jeez, this is so embarrassing. If you weren't here, I don't know what would have happened. Thanks. Ryoki. Hey, Teddy. Could Senpai have been attacked by her other self here? Like how it just happened to me? Very possible. I think so. So, okay, yeah, in this game it's not so much that only certain people can manifest personas. Everyone can, but only those that are able to defeat them actually get to use them. And generally, just... Because I'm special, I had one. Otherwise, no one can really fight against them. The shadows here were originally born from humans. Sometimes the fog clears, then they all go berserk. And you saw what happens next. A strong-willed shadow draws others to it, and the big mass of shadows kills the host. So that's why people die when it gets foggy in our world. <sighs> Yosuke's pretty worn out. This world isn't made for humans. It's not comfortable for you here. I don't hear any more voices. I think we're done with this place. Let's go back. Where do I get to find Eeyore? If I don't worry, Elizabeth is a widow. Hey, Teddy. You said that this place is reality for people who enter, right? So that shopping district, and the weird room we saw before, did they exist because the ones who died entered this world and it became their reality? I guess what I'm trying to ask is, did those places form because of the people who entered this world? And are there places for us now? I don't know. It's never happened before. But that's probably where they were when the shadows attacked them. The fog does lift here sometimes. The shadows get really violent then. I always get so scared I have to hide when it happens. I sensed people here twice before, but both of them disappeared after the fog lifted. So let's get this straight. Senpai and that Yamano lady were thrown in here, and since they couldn't get out, they wandered around. After a while, that shadow thing came out of them. The fog cleared, it went berserk, and it ended up killing them. Does that sound right? Yeah, that sounds about like what happened. So if I'd been here until the fog cleared, I would have been in much deeper trouble? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. You were lucky. Sensei and me were here with you. Damn it. Senpai and that announcer, they were stuck here all alone. No one could save them. So it looks like I was, I'm not going to be able to save Saki, but yeah. So I, I will be able to come in here and help anyone that does get stuck. I have a, I have another prediction. People are going to get abducted right when the fog clears. And I'll have to come in here and save them real quick. That seems to be what this is setting up for. Yosuke. They disappeared when the fog lifted, but they were safe before that. No shadows attacked them. They attacked us, though. Maybe they're keeping a close eye on us. They might see people who investigate this place as enemies. It'll be dangerous, but we might be able to fight them. We might save people. Are you saying if anyone else gets thrown in here, we can save them before they disappear? Like how you guys just saved me? Oh, okay. It's not that we have to be where the fog clears. We have to find them before the fog clears. 
I wonder if it, f it clears on like the same schedule it did in the other game. In the other game, it was set on a lunar cycle, so every 28 days, something happened. Anyways, we need to catch the one who's throwing people in here and make him stop. Yeah, I'm finally starting to understand what's going on. Um, it, can I ask something, too? If shadows are born from humans, what was Teddy born from? I guess. I guess it's a robot. I have no idea, though. You don't even know where you came from? How should we know? I know some things, mostly about this world, but I don't know anything about myself. To be honest, I never thought about it until now. Are you serious? No wonder we couldn't get a straight answer out of you. Will you guys come back here? Actually, I can pretty guarantee you it's not Igus, because Metas came out of Igus. And for those of you that didn't play Persona 3, just don't worry about it. You keep your word? Well, you're the one who said you weren't letting us out unless we do. That's right. Okay, I'll let you out. But there's one thing. I'll be waiting for you guys here. You need to come in from the same place every time, so we can meet up. So does that mean I actually have to do this during the day, rather than at night? You could come in from somewhere else, but then you won't end up here. You might show up somewhere I couldn't get to you. Then... You'd be doomed. Got it? <laughs> well, I like Teddy. Much. All right, can you show us the way out? Roger that. One exit coming right up. Cool. First, we need to make sure there aren't any employees milling around out there. What's with that face? She's the same to me. Ow! The nerve of you guys! You are such morons! I can't believe this! You guys suck! The rope got cut off and I had no idea what to do. I was so worried. I mean, scared stiff, damn it! I hate you both! <laughs> I... I think that might have kind of sort of been our fault. Maybe we did go a little too far. Let's apologize to her tomorrow. I'm completely wiped out. I'm gonna go home, soak in the shower for a while and get some sleep. I think... I'm gonna sleep well tonight. Well, see you in the morning. I'll pick up the rope. Near the plug plane while walking home from school. Hi. Mm hmm? You, oh, you can go. Oh, are you surprised to see me dressed this way? My parents sent me out on an errand. Um... Are you getting used to your new town and school? Somewhat. I'm glad to hear that. It must be difficult moving to a place you know nothing about. 
I've never been out of Inaba, so I wouldn't know what it's like to transfer to a new school. Oh, are you getting along with Chie? I mean, I always leave early, so... Um... <laughs> I see. She's always full of energy. Chie is very supportive, you know? It's always her who gives me the little extra push I need. We had homeroom together last year, too. And I still remember how we cut class sometimes. <gasps> Shocking. Oh, I, I should get going. I need to make tomorrow's arrangements with our head chef. Our inn can't function without me right now. Um, I'll see you at school then. <laughs> Dad's late. Our next story is an update in our ongoing report on the bizarre murders occurring in Inaba. I do feel a little bit bad. I almost don't get to commentate enough because so much of this game is voice acted. At around 7 a.m., local high school student Saki Konishi was found dead in Inaba's residential area. Since the body was positioned similarly to the last victim, and since Miss Konishi was the one who discovered that body... Who's Miss Konishi? Police are proceeding under the assumption that this may be a serial murder case related to the death of Mayumi Yamano. The coroner's report has established Miss Konishi's time of death at around 1 a.m. last night. The body went unnoticed until this morning as a result of the heavy fog blanketing the area. Another incident. Dad won't be coming home tonight. Are you worried about him? Uh-huh. But that's how it goes. He's a detective, so he's really busy. Amagi Inn, located upstream of Samegawa River, is the town's oldest historical landmark. Vacationers are known to travel surprising distances in order to visit its open-air, radium-rich hot springs. After the incident with Miss Yamano, the manager has stepped aside, leaving her daughter Yukiko to fill her shoes. Wow. In other words, she's a manager who's still in high school. Now that has a nice ring to it. Let's see if we can interview her. Excuse me! Hmm? Um, are you speaking to me? We've heard that you're the new manager. Is it true you're still in high school? Oh, well, I'm only filling in temporarily. Someday, though. That aside, wow, you're looking gorgeous in that kimono. You must have had a lot of male visitors. Huh? No, um... <laughs> this is boring. Oh, I need to do the dishes. Awesome. Whoa. I can see his persona from here? That's awesome. So he's the magician. He has Garu, Bosh, and... Oh, he can heal. That's good. And my persona... Yeah, I have the option to have multiple ones. Okay, cool. I have a golf club, he has a monkey wrench. Okay. Oh. What's under system? So yeah, no requests from Margaret or whatever her freaking name is. Okay. And we're at about 19 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and save and end the episode here. Um, tune in next time where we continue into Persona 4. 
I like the game so far, although it's it's very different than Persona 3. It's got a different feel to it, but that's not a bad thing. In some places I miss Persona 3, and I certainly miss Akiro. Um, but, you know, things change, and we change with them. So, moving on.